Hi everyone, I've been experimenting to make a pendulum from this coil from the clock. Um, basically I unwound it and rewound it and I, I wound half the turns approximately and put a lead on and I wound the other half and put some lead on. Hoping to make a um, the coil with like three, three leads coming out. Just like this pendulum from the clock itself. So it's got three leads on it, so I thought I'll try that. And I've tried many experiments with this uh, particular thing. I haven't got the correct transistor uh, uh, components, but I did try them, it didn't work. So I thought I'll put it onto my um, pulse uh, circuit here, uh, which also it didn't work. Let me just show you that the circuit is working fine. But this is like six to nine volts, six volts here, which, which is not what I want for for my circuit. Six volts is like too much. I just wanted a simple oopsie daisy. As you can see my pulse circuit here is working fine. So I tried to put the coil between there and it didn't really, it swung a little bit but not much so it's no good really. I tried all different combinations to just try and pulse it, see if it works. It didn't work at all, well it did work somewhat, but it didn't work as good as I like it to. But what I was trying to do is get a pulse circuit sorted to work um, at 1.5 volts, which is what they use in this circuit here. Uh, the clock which we took apart the other day uh, in the previous episode so what I've just done to prove that it, I think it's an independent circuit this, this is an independent circuit of the clock itself even though uh, the lead the positive lead goes into this blob here and goes out somehow so I, I don't know where it goes in there so I thought I'd put a lead on here with a positive there and put a negative lead there and put a 1.5 5 volts into this and see if it works independently. Of course, um, even though I wound this back on this way and didn't work that good, this is wound differently obviously. It's in a nice coil and probably a different gauge wire itself. So I've just got a little magnet stuck on the end of this uh, end of this thing here. Just a little magnet to just experiment to see what, what it would do. Just make sure all the leads are on properly. As you can see, it's moving it quite nicely indeed. So that pendulum really works well as far as I'm concerned. Yep, I, li I like it so I'm keeping it still there. If I had a, a bigger magnet, stuck it on properly so it's flat, that would move it nicely indeed. So I'm happy with this particular setup here, and I'm happy that it's a 1.5 volts independently working. So we're not supplying this side of the coil at all, we're just supplying this, this circuitry here. And just to um, show you what, as far as I know, um, this. Let me take this off. Just 
just to show you uh, all this has got is a transistor resistor and two capacitors here and that's all it's got a plus of coil obviously and obviously if, if I could figure out this circuitry here that along with this coil would work uh, the pendulum and I like this circuit because it works for 1.5 volts but if I, if I, I will try experimenting later on and see if I can get this circuit to set up independently of this coil and uh, wind a coil similar to this with three um, with a tap in in the middle and see if I can work it out that way you might think why am I uh, messing about so much when I could just get a clock and use this particular circuitry itself instead of messing about to try and make one up because there's no fun in it it'd be too easy just get one of these stick it on make a pendulum uh, clock with this but I'd rather mess about find out how it's done put it together so yeah thank you for watching it's a simple one I had to I had to let you know that I have experimented spent a lot of time on it and um, if you do have a if you do have a circuit diagram for this particular thing I would really uh, would appreciate it if you have the components I would really appreciate it indeed uh, thank you for for watching